Hey Micro Machine fans and collectors, we are now going to take a look at the Micro Monster Trucks Starter Pack for Series 5. And I know this is the one you guys have all been waiting for. If it seemed like I skimmed through the first ones, I kind of did. Because I was excited to get to this one. This one is the grand finale of what I'm recording today. And this is a cool one. Now... Let's take a look at the Blazer first. Check this thing out. If you guys don't know, I actually used to own one of these in real life. I actually used to own this exact Blazer. This exact one. It was green, too. It didn't have the flames on it, but it did have something on it because I painted it. But um, I used to own this exact Blazer. I used to own it. I'm going to try to paint one of these up like my actual Blazer I used to own. Uh, but I don't have the correct green right now, so that's that's a big problem there. But, uh, yeah, this thing is really cool. It has, uh, headlights. Well, it might not be the exact one I have. The front end looks a bit different than the one I, I think I had. I, no, it might be the same. Well, I don't think I had I know I have it. I stole the title to it. I, I, I gave it to somebody, but I, I don't need to talk about that here. That, that thing's long gone. But, um, yeah. Uh, pretty cool. You guys can... See it here. It doesn't have tail lights, which they kind of could have done since it's green, but probably since they put the design on everything, they're like, you don't get tail lights. Although the tires on these things, it is probably hard to find one that has good tires because you can see right here. Um, mine does not have perfect tires. It has out overspray on the outside of the tires. But it just uh, realize, guys, it is really hard for jazz wears to probably paint these because I had a tough time painting. The custom one I made. Mine's not even perfect. And I did mine very carefully. And I, I just could not get it perfect. It's it's really hard to paint it. It, it might have been better if they would have made them rubber. But I they didn't. But there is the blazer. Where the blazer you think you're going? Here's the van. You can see my van has terrible tires. Oh, stop doing wheelies. <laughs> My van has terrible tires. I, I do have a van that has better tires. I will probably take that one apart and put the tires on that one, on this one. So, just know if you do find these, look at the tires, because uh, they can be pretty bad sometimes. I mean, that bad, uh, there's not really any excuse for that bad. That That's... That's possible to fix. I had my wheel like that on my custom ones. Speaking of custom ones, we are going to see two custom ones in this video. So if you like these two, you can't get these. These are ones I made. Not these ones. These three. That one back there. That's the next one. Chevy Silverado. Now what does that remind you of if you watched all the videos from earlier? Yep. That is one of those. So yes, you can lower them, but they aren't going to seem like they want to stay together because when you pick them up well they have suspension <laughs> but when you put them back down they, they always reset kind of properly and if they don't you can fix it pretty easily but yeah if you want to buy multiples of them and lower them and make some lowered ones or ones that aren't monsters because you like the the shell and you want to put a make a regular one you can because this one here was one of these and uh, you can also make other vehicles into monsters, which some can be tricky. Cars are tricky to lift, but uh, most trucks it works for. But some of the cars, it is a bit tricky to use the cars. But, um, yeah, it's really cool. Um, they are really cool. I hope Micro Machines honestly makes us a world pack with the monster trucks and we get five more of them. I hope we see more monster trucks because I know they don't really always continue the series from the packs, which they should. There should be a starter and a world pack really for it, but um, I don't think they do that all the time. They've done that for a couple of the series, but I don't think they've done it. They, they definitely haven't done it for all of them, and I really wish they would because there's a couple of them. I'd love to see them make more cars in that style, like the color fade from series four. That's still one of my favorite series is they've made this and the monster trucks are my two favorite ones now i i don't have a favorite i love the color fade and i love the monster trucks speaking of color fade i am working on a car right now 
Oh, it's a color fade Corvette. It's black with a with pink, and it's a color fade. It's going to be really cool when it's done. You guys will get to see it. I literally just started on that one right now before I started this video because it popped in my head. I'm like, okay, I got to get that, start that one. So it's, it's coming out cool. It's going to be cool when it's done. But, yeah, I just wanted to put this one here so I can show you guys you can lower them. It does look kind of funny from the other ones because it is a little bit higher, but it still works. You know, it's like a 4x4. Four four. And I almost wonder if you, like, have the skill. Maybe you can make ones that have hydraulics out of these. <laughs> maybe. I don't know. But I wouldn't mind trying that with some of the Cadillacs, but I don't know how you would do that. I want a monster Cadillac, but I need another Cadillac set. But, yeah, uh, these are really cool. And I will race them just a little bit. I don't want them to go off the table because I really do like these. But three, two, one. Just a quick little race. Ah, I hit my custom. Okay, the Blazer won. <laughs> Yay, my truck won <laughs> that I used to own. And uh, this is just over here because uh, if you don't want to see this, we're done talking about the regular ones now. Well, not yet because we need to say the numbers. Uh, this one is 288 for the van. This one is... 286 for the blazer and i bet this one is 287 yep 287 for the silverado so if you just came here for these you may now leave because we are not going to talk about those anymore these we're now going to talk about uh some future coming stuff that's going to be in videos and then we're going to get to what are those Ooh, yeah we'll get to those <laughs> but um yeah um I'm going to do something with this semi. Oh, as you guys know, there was an Amazon exclusive of this semi. Mine was damaged in the first place, so I'm actually kind of glad they gave me a reason to buy another one. Because mine had that on it when I got it. Right there, that black um, paint chip. You can see it coming through the red. I'm going to paint this up like a candy cane pattern. And I'm going to throw this in with the unboxing video when we do the um, event calendar. So this will bring in our cars, and I'll probably do like stop motion and have it like unload them and everything it'll, it'll be kind of cool i know how to do stop motion and it'll be it'll be really fun so i gotta start painting this thing a candy cane pattern is what i'm gonna do with this guy i don't really know what else to do with it because i already have a red one and i i don't really know what else to do so i'm gonna make this guy a candy cane pattern and he'll be in our um event video this year so this one does not it will not that one of these does not come with the event calendar I, I will say that too. Uh, I'll make a video a couple days before we open it and tell you guys some stuff I'm going to add. Um, but I do not know what's in there. My girlfriend does because I had her open it and make sure all the cars was there because in the past, you guys know I bought the Supervan City exclusive and I was missing one of the cars and I still do not have that car to this day. So I got ripped off one car by Micro Machines. Well, Jazz wears. But um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to paint this guy to have a candy cane pattern. It's going to be pretty easy because it's already red. I'm just going to paint it the rest of the way red and put some stripes on it. And I'll probably even detail it. I'll probably put lights on it. Maybe make the windows green. I don't know. Just make it look really Christmassy and festive looking is what I'm going to do with that one. But now, I bet you guys saw these and you're like, whoa, what are those? Uh, these are custom monster trucks. Probably the first of their kind in the new ones. I'm sure people have made customs of some of the older monster trucks, but... These are the newer ones, and uh, I'm pretty sure these are the first of their kind to exist. So, uh, we've got a um, Castrell here. It is just a regular Castrell uh, that I painted like an ice pattern on, and uh, headlights, and I didn't take it off the body, and I got a little bit of paint right there. I'll take it apart one day, but like I said... Lifting the cars is very frustrating, and once I saw that, I was like, oh, man, I don't want to take it apart just to scratch that off. But um, I'll probably do it one of these days. I just don't feel like doing it right now because they are very tedious and hard. But as you can see, my wheels aren't perfect on mine. Uh, it is very hard to paint these wheels. I think there's a couple spots it didn't even get. Yeah, right there. You can see right there. It's very hard to actually get the wheels perfect. But... um. It is very cool. I will probably try to fix that because that one's that's pretty bad. But it's very hard to get the wheels perfect because it will bleed and go down the wheel. Because it, it, it's like a cup. So when you get a bunch of paint in there, it'll bleed and go on the actual wheel where you don't want it. So, yeah, that's just kind of a problem in the design of these. But uh, they are cool. 
Um, I definitely like them. I'm definitely going to be making more monster trucks. One of my friends that watches this channel, I know you want to see a monster hog nose. Trust me. There's going to be a monster hog nose. Mark my words, there will be a monster hog nose. A monster hog nose is a thing that's going to happen. I'm making a monster hog nose. I have four more monster chassis to spare, and a monster hog nose is on my list of vehicles to make. I'm, I may also make a Dom's Dodge Charger kind of looking car out of one of the Catapos. Make a black one and uh, make the wheels like chrome or something and make it just black or chrome. I don't know. And make a monster out of it. I was thinking about it, but I don't know about that one yet. But um, a hog nose is definitely happening. I don't know what color it's going to be yet. I'm thinking maybe yellow or no, uh, orange and green or like Jamaican colors for it. But I don't know yet. Um, but yeah, uh, these are really cool. Um, you can definitely, if you want to lift some of your cars, you can do so. But, uh, I would suggest keeping the original base to the monster truck that you took apart because, well, car bases and other bases, they, they don't really work too well to replace for the bottom of the monster trucks. I would demonstrate how one of these comes apart. If you guys want me to, I, I can make a video on demonstrating how to lift and lower cars and stuff. Um, if you guys want me to do that, but, um, let me just show you guys these up close real quick. So we got MM, not for McDonald's, but micro machine, uh, flames. I kind of went for the same design as I went for on my, uh, black Warlander. I made 87 cause that's the year the first micro machines came out. Black taillights. The wheels are not painted. Those are original. I didn't even touch those. Those came like that. Um, this one here is pretty much all custom. So you got a Castrell. Uh, it's basically just the Castrell from the muscle car starter, uh, starter pack. So you got, it's just the blue and I painted like an ice design on it because I thought it would be really cool. My girlfriend absolutely loves this one. Headlights. Um, and I painted the rims like a dark blue uh, because they the rims were originally off this one. I should have actually used rims off this one and it would have probably looked a little bit neater because it would have been like, that color and i can switch it but i like it the way it turned out and i'm gonna leave it the way it is but yeah these are two custom um monsters i made and at the end of the year i'm still planning on doing a video showing all my customs i made this year and i did make some older micro machine customs too so i'll throw those in there as well but um yeah uh these are really cool uh, the real ones are cool as well. I really hope to see micro machines like, <laughs> they, they're funny too, because you try to pick them up sometimes, they like to do tricks, they, they like to run away from you and stuff. But, um, I really hope to see micro machines make a playset exclusively for the monster trucks, because, uh, I just think that's something that should happen. I think they should, like, make a whole nother brand off, like, Jasmine should make a whole nother brand off the micro machines. And just make, like, the monster trucks their own brand. Like, make micro monsters. Because these kind of don't fit in with the regular micros. I mean, they do, but at the same time, they don't. I feel like they should be, like, their own series. Like, we should have a micro monster series where they make a bunch of different... Like, still use the same bodies and everything, but, like... Micro monsters should be their own series. That way, you know, we get more monsters. That That's really what I'm going for here. I want us to get more monsters. These things are cool, and I want to see a lot more of them. I, and I mean a lot more. These are really cool. There's some cars I would love to see them try to lift and make into monsters. Even maybe with a semi, that'd be kind of cool. I was thinking about making a monster semi because I have one that's missing a wheel I bought for half price at a store. It was missing um, two of the wheels, so it only has one wheel. So, well, no, it was missing one of the wheels, so it only has four instead of six. So, I might turn that one into a monster and then take the wheels off and give it to something else. But, um, yeah. These are really cool, and I definitely think, you know, Jaspers, if you're watching this video, um, the monsters should really be their own thing. There should be micro machines, and there should be micro mon mic micro monster machines is what you should call the other spin-off of the micro machines there should be micro monster machines and just the reason for that is you know we'll get more monsters if they have their own series we'll get a lot more monsters but don't make them hard to find i know you probably will because i've heard things about other stuff you guys make and 
none of your stuff is really easy to find. You guys really need to fix that problem in your company. But anyways, guys, um, that is the Micro Monsters uh, starter pack. I definitely hope to see way more monsters. It would be cool to see, like, a Cadillac monster, a Camaro monster, um... Like my friend wants, I know my friend wants them to actually make a hog nose monster. Uh, just even, you know, still make the fantasy cars and the monsters too. Because this one here is a fantasy vehicle. It's a van. And I am going to be making some of these that are lowered. Like all the other ones I'm making are going to be lowered. And I am going to try to get some more of these. Because I really want to go nuts with making like 80s designs on the sides of these vans and stuff. But, yeah. They're really cool. Uh, they're a little bit frustrating to take apart and put back together, but if you take your time with them, you can do it. So, that's not hard to do. Lowering them, that's not hard to do, but putting them on there, that wasn't too hard, but putting a car on there, that was a bit tricky. So, yeah guys, if you guys watched this whole video, thank you so much, and um, I hope you guys really enjoyed my customs. There will be more custom monster trucks. Uh, just for staying till the end, I'll give you a sneak peek at the little, um, at the Corvette I'm making at the moment that is a color fade design. So I'll give you a sneak peek of that real quick. Alrighty, um, here you guys go. This is the color fade Corvette I'm working on at the moment. Um, it's going to be pink and black. So the black, the back wheel is going to be black and the front wheel is going to be pink. Um, I did mess up a little bit. I should have took it apart before I started painting it, but it literally popped in my head and I didn't want to lose the design, but it's no biggie. I can, I can fix the wheels, take them off and scratch the paint off them. And that's just how I do, I do things. I do things the dumb way and then I do them the smart way. So I'll do it while it's together and I'll realize, oh yeah, I should take it apart so I don't get paint on the wheels and also I can paint the inside of the wheels. So yeah. All right guys, uh, if you watch this whole video, thank you so much. And, um, let me know, uh, what other car would you like to see me make into a monster truck? Because uh, I'll take a couple suggestions, and I'll make maybe a couple monster trucks. I mean, I got options here. I can make a lot of neat ones. How about a combine monster truck? <laughs> Bulldozer monster truck. Dump truck monster truck. Nah, I don't think the six-wheeled vehicles would... The semi, I feel like it would, but the other six-wheeled vehicles, I don't feel like they'd go over too well. Motorcycle <laughs> monster truck. Okay, nah, 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 that ain't gonna happen. But I'm also going to maybe try to make a trailer for this and put a mo make a custom motorcycle that goes with the paint job and it'll be like a team. Um, if I figure that out, I'll show you guys. But this one's going to be a crazy one if I actually do it the way I want because it's going to have a race team. And if I figure that out, I'm actually going to make my uh, Warlander truck I made, the black one with flames. I'm going to make that one a trailer that it can haul a hot rod on that's going to be painted black with flames just like it is. So, yeah. All right, guys, uh, thanks so much for watching, and uh, let me know, um, what car would you like to see me make into a monster truck? My friend, Hognose Monster Truck is happening, so don't worry about that. You don't need to suggest that. No one needs to suggest a Hognose. A Hognose Monster Truck is happening. I definitely have a Hognose. Look right there is a Hognose. It's a blind bag one. I have a lot of spares of them. I have, like, I think three of them in here, maybe two. I don't know. I can get more of them, though. A store near me has a lot more of them. But, um, yeah. Thanks so much, guys, for watching this. If you did until the end, sorry about the video being so long. But um, I kind of wanted to explain a little bit about the monster trucks because they're so interesting. So I felt like I needed to talk about them a bit. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.